a, a well-run organization. And uh, congrats to them. I know this has been a long time coming for, for the Grizzlies. Um, for us, um, couldn't be prouder of the group. Just uh, incredible effort, uh, determination. Um, they stuck together. They made this season really meaningful over the last couple of months. And, um, and that's, that's important. I think our young guys really grew. I think our vets had great years. So fun to see Kevon Looney healthy again. Uh, Steph and Draymond have uh, just fantastic years. Um, so I think uh, we made a lot of strides this year, and I'm really, really excited about what's, what's next for this group. But for now, really disappointed that, that they're not going to get the chance to, uh, to play in the playoffs. It would have been a lot of fun. Um, I'll take any questions. Next up is Kareth Burke, NBC Sports. Steve, what did you tell your team post game after they emptied the tank? Uh, that that's that's private. Uh, that's you know that's uh, for us. But uh, you know, needless to say, it was it was all positive because I'm very very proud of the effort and and everything they put forth. Anthony Slater. Do you view this season wider scope as a success? And, and what do you feel like you learned um, about this team moving forward? I think this season was absolutely a success, Anthony. Um, you know, we would have loved to have gotten into the playoffs and tried to make a run. Um, you know, we were really a good team over the last 22 games, I guess. Um, you know, to, to put together – a stretch like that over an entire quarter of a season. Um, that's not a fluke. We were the number one defense in the league during that span. And to, to, to watch Jordan, Juan, Mike Mulder, um, these young guys uh, grow and develop, that makes, that makes this a successful season because of what it, um, what it sets up for next year. I'm also thrilled for, I mentioned Kavon, uh, Damian Lee, um, you know, some of our younger vets who uh, put together really good seasons and kind of solidified their own individual careers. Um, that's crucial. You know, as coaches, obviously we're, we're trying to win games, but we want to help these guys get better. That's a big part of our job is to help them improve. And, and that's why the training staff did uh, such a great job with Loon, getting him healthy and uh, the whole coaching staff working every day with these guys. It's uh, very gratifying. Obviously, um, a crushing way to, to go out, you know, two straight games uh, that were basically gut punches. Um, you know, we, we felt like we had, uh, we had the control of the game the other night and, uh, and, and lost and then really didn't have the control of this one, but could have won. We had the last shot in regulation. So um, ball just didn't go our way, but we've had a lot of great breaks over here um, you know, over the years. Um, and a lot of bad ones the last couple of years you know, with injuries, especially. So um, all in all, you have to, to look at this season as a, as a success and uh, something to build on. Monty Pool, NBC Sports. Steve, what do you think were the factors uh, behind the turnovers that basically kept you guys from beginning to the playoffs? I think fatigue, Monty, was a factor tonight. This was about as wild as we have looked um, over the last six weeks. And we've basically been playing an eight-man rotation. Um, I thought both, t both teams got tired. You know, they really struggled to make shots in the, in the second half. Um, our defense picked up big time. But um, offensively, we, we turned the ball over a ton. And we, we really weren't poised enough at key times of the game. That's why I kept burning timeouts. You know, I, I was trying to get the guys settled. Uh, but we were, we were just trailing the whole game and it felt like everybody was trying a little too hard and sometimes fatigue uh, makes you um, play a little bit beyond you know what you should be doing and uh, so the turnovers some, some wild possessions in the middle of the game I thought that's what really hurt us because we had plenty of time to get back in it as we showed um, and the effort is what what got us back um, and the amazing skill you know of Steph um, and his shooting uh, but um, we, we weren't we weren't sharp um, tonight. Next question is from Tim Kawakami, The Athletic. 
Steve, just to be clear, uh, did you have a timeout at the end of regulation there? Could you have called timeout? Did you choose not to? We chose not to. Um, you know, we had our, our, our shooters on the floor. Uh, we had them on, the, on their heels a little bit. And, uh, you know, we knew we were going to run our high drag with uh, Steph and, and Draymond. And at that point, I didn't want to disrupt the momentum. We had the last shot, and uh, so we, we chose to, to go ahead and play. Next question is from Kylan Mills, Cron 4. Hey, Coach. Um, it seemed like every time you guys got on a run, John Morant had an answer. I know during overtime, I saw Juan looking pretty frustrated after he made that big bucket. Just can you talk about what Ja was able to do tonight and about his future in this league? Yeah, he was great. Uh, he had a huge night and made big shots. He made five threes. Um, they made 15 threes, you know. Um, they uh, they shot the ball really well, and that's that's why they won the game. You know, they're they're not a, a, a great shooting team, um, and and we a lot of our defense was really to protect the paint and protect um, you know against Valanciunas and and uh, Jaron Jackson, and and so sometimes you give up shots, and um, and you you just know going in that um, they you know they're they're probably due to make some and. Uh, and that's what had to happen. Obviously, Ja made five, and then uh, you know Tillman made the big one. He's not a guy you expect to make a three, and so if, you know we're up two. I think at that point, with a couple minutes to go, he hits that corner three. That was a big shot, and then uh, Grayson Allen made a couple as well. So um, you know, give them credit. They they made the shots that they had to.